in the service department with uh, Tech Tip Ted on Tech Tip Tuesday, and uh, we have a pretty good video today, right, Ted? Yes, we do. We're going to be talking about the uh, Heritage today, Heritage Soft Tail. Uh, one of the complaints that we get quite often is uh, these uh, saddlebags. We call it uh, saggy saddlebags. Saggy bags. Saggy that's right. bags. Yeah, we talk. We uh, and the complaint is that you know they just they don't keep their form. And um, after a period of years, they can get worse and worse. But there's an easy fix for it, Tate, and that's what we're here to talk about today. Yes, and uh, and this is going to be important because pretty much every used heritage soft tail we run into has got saggy bags. Yes, they do. So uh, with that said, we uh, this side here, I don't know if you can see it in the camera real well, but this side here is uh, what we would consider in pretty bad shape. Still saggy. Right, this is the saggy side. This side over here, we installed one of our uh, frame rails that actually holds it up from a company called um, Bag Iron. Bag Iron. And uh, these are from Ride Solutions. Uh, they're $119. Yep. And uh, they don't take too long to install. They're pretty simple, just a couple of bolts. And as you can see, it makes a big difference on the bag. Sure does. That side isn't sagging like this side is here. My bag is no longer sagging. Yes, there you go. Um, so what we'd like to do is just show, give you a quick uh, demonstration of how to install these. I'll open it up. Okay, guys, uh, this is a, a side view of our saggy bag. And uh, Tech Tip Ted's kind of going to lift up the top and show you how much this, this bag is sagged. And uh, when, you're, when your bags start to do this, it really makes it more difficult to put your stuff inside the bag also. Right, Ted? Yeah, absolutely. And once we put this frame in here, it's going to make the bag stand up better so that you can get in there a lot easier. And, and overall aesthetics, it's yeah. going to look much better, oh, too. absolutely, yeah. Like I say, we did do the other side. Let's go around there and, and check out that side. So as you can see on this side here, we put the frame rail in. And if you open it up, you can see that the rail is in the top here, and it just it, it goes underneath these two nuts that hold the top of the bag on. So the bar is going to be bolted to the top, and it's going to be hooked into the saddle bag itself so it can't move, and it stays rigid. So when you put your cover down, it's got something to go on to that's nice and square. Much better than the other side. Awesome. Stay with us, and uh, we're going to show you how to install this in. So as you can see, Claude is uh, our technician today, and he's taking the two nuts off that actually hold the bar on, and then he's going to align that bar with the bag. In the front side of the bag, there's two tabs that are going to lock in to the bag itself. And once he gets those locked in, it's just a matter of lining it up on the two studs that hold the bag on and putting the two nuts on there to hold the bar. Okay, guys, uh, Claude has got this thing uh, pretty much all in there. He's uh, tightening down the, the two bolts now. And I think you can already probably see a, a difference of how this thing looks. You can see, too, Tate, that it follows the contour of the bag real well. Mm -hmm. And they fit nice and tight. And there's actually two tabs that lock into the front and the rear of the bag that keep that bag supported up. And then once he puts that lid on there, this after time will settle down and it'll go back to normal, you know, and then it's, uh, it's all, it's not sagging anymore. No, that's definitely not a saggy bag anymore. No, that's, that's perfect. Okay, guys, we are about finished up here. We have installed our, uh, the saggy bag kit as we like to call it, right, Ted? Yeah, absolutely. As you can see from the back, they look nice and uh, level and normal size now. They're not all... Uh, pushed in and, and the contour is normal. We're gonna we're gonna kind of just do a a viewer uh, a viewer had uh, called into us and expressed some concern about how to how to get your touring battery out of your motorcycle and it can be tough. It is tight. Yeah, it is, especially on the uh, ultras, the road kings, and stuff like that. 
very hard to grab hold of the battery. The battery does weigh about 20 pounds or so. It's heavy on your fingertips, that is um, true. So one of the things we do take is we just take an old seat strap. You can use a belt, anything non-conductive. Put a couple holes in it and use the screws from the battery terminals and just um, screw them in like this. That'll hold your strap in place while it's in the bike. And then you can just lift it up with the seat strap and put it in and out of the bike. That was, I guess somebody had asked you about that. Yep, there you go. And uh, like I said, if you guys ever have any questions, uh, please ask us and we'll be more than happy to, to demonstrate how we do some things around here. Or if you have any helpful tricks for us, let us know. Uh, thank you and uh, keep watching our videos. We'll be back next Tuesday. Don't forget to join our Facebook page and uh, like our giveaways. And uh, that's it, right, Ted? I like the hairdo take. Yeah, I'm going bald. Are you really? Yeah.